One of the teachers, Edwin Mukaya, is reported to have questioned the student on why he was late for class and asked him to go to the staff room to explain himself. It is at the staff room that he was reportedly asked to kneel down and that's when he brandished a knife and attacked the teacher on the forehead, back and legs. Elvis Maoto, another teacher, attempted to intervene but was stabbed before the student could be restrained. One of the teachers was treated and discharged while the other is in critical condition in hospital. One had a cut wound on the back and the head and the, the upper, the, upper, the lower lip. The, the other one had a cut uh, uh, along the cheeks. And uh, one is, uh, was critically injured, that's Edwin Mukaya. The other one has already been uh, uh, treated and has been allowed to go home. But for the, the case of Edwin Mukaya, requires further treatment. Kisi County Commissioner Abderizak Jaldesa says the student is in custody and investigations are ongoing, calling for provision of psychosocial services. Meanwhile, police in Busia have arrested a Ugandan national with an AK-47 rifle with 30 rounds of ammunition in Adungosi Market, Teso South constituency. Busia County Commander John Nyoike says that the suspect was arrested as he attempted to flee after a motorcycle he was traveling in, attempted to flee when it was flagged down by police. Bada kanyu as such, na police officers, iliweza kubibirisha ya kwamba, hii ndume ilikome jifu, Feature Buduka in AK-47. Akawa valia jacket. Na alikuwa meifunga na blada upandu andani. Na hiyo buduki ilikuwa na magazine. Na magazine yenyewe ilikuwa na 30 rounds ya ammunition. The suspects will be arraigned in court. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Jack Uambiru. Bavye ni wetuande ya walifu wame nafanyika hapa hivu.